What's up guys? Uh, I don't know if you recognize this case, but this actually was featured in my very first video that I've ever posted to my channel. And what I'm going to be doing is using this for a project that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. And um, I wanted to get it on video for you, so uh, let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a home PBX server. And what that does is it provides um, telephone service to my house, uh, except that uh, I won't have to pay my internet provider for telephone. Uh, I will be able to serve that number right from this computer here that I'm going to build. So I'm going to be using uh, a piece of software called Incredible PBX, which is a Linux distribution that has um, uh, a phone uh, PBX software called Asterisk and in conjunction with Google Voice so that I can still use my telephone number still have people call me still have the number work and have that number be provided to my house but not have to pay a monthly fee to uh, my internet provider so basically I'm gonna try and save myself an additional 40 bucks a month give or take by building my own computer that will uh, provide that service for me alright so in this video I'm gonna be uh, putting the hardware together for my server. Uh, new home is going to be this rack mounted ATX case that I've had laying around since the summertime. Um, the insides are going to come from this DC 5100 micro tower. Uh, this case is a little bit beat up so it's a good candidate because the insides are still good. Uh, it's a Pentium 4 machine, 1 gig of memory, 80 gig hard drive and the power supply which are all still good that's going to get transferred over here and what's fortunate is the PBX software doesn't require uh, a powerhouse so it should run just fine on my uh, uh, Pentium 4 here I wanted to show you the uh, motherboard which I've pulled out of the case here and specifically the uh, holes where the CPU cooler was mounted and the backing plate for the motherboard has corresponding threaded holes here and that actually um, the cooler screwed through the motherboard into those posts there uh, so actually not like a, you know like today for example uh, you know your CPU coolers are screwed into a backing plate on the motherboard itself um, the case that I have does not have four mounting holes like this so I'm gonna to have to figure out how to uh, mount the motherboard or excuse me the CPU cooler uh, to the motherboard that's uh, something to figure out alright it really wasn't that hard to figure out I just use some um, screw posts and that just works fine what I will have to figure out though is if the um, threaded part of that post there if that's going to uh, provide a clearance problem when I try and get this mounted in the uh, in the case and if it does then I'm gonna have to um, probably cut off the uh, or grind off the uh, threaded part there but we'll see alright let me show you what I did I took the motherboard tray out and I drilled four holes so that the bottom posts can um, go through and I actually drilled them fairly large in comparison to uh, the actual post uh, so I can get a little wiggle room when I try and uh, move the motherboard in place alright I got everything moved over and I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out because uh, all the parts fit in there really nicely uh, I ended up doing a couple of sort of non-standard things um, that fan right there was a chassis fan that came out of that same mini tower and um, I just zip tied it to the back here to get some more airflow and it's plugged in uh, to the motherboard like it would be normally and in here um, there's a 120 mil fan 
that uh, uh, blows air from the front through the case here and then that's why I ended up putting the fan here to exhaust out this way but one thing I didn't like is how loud this fan is up front so let me put the um, camera on the tripod and I'll show that for you alright so here's what it sounds like so that that uh, fan that's up here is a 120 mil fan and it's way louder than I want it to be um, even though this is going to be sitting in my rack here in the basement uh, it's a little bit too loud for comfort I think uh, so what I'm going to do is take that 120 mil fan and replace it with this Corsair fan that I got out of uh, my uh, Corsair case that I'm using for my main computer uh, this I actually replaced with an LED fan and I just had this sitting in a box and I think this will sound just fine alright so I've got the Corsair fan plugged in just on the outside um, just really quickly so I can just show you what it sounds like and there you go I mean it's definitely not as loud I mean it's like practically silent compared to the other one and I can tell you it's moving a lot of air I and mean, I can feel that uh, all the way over here behind the camera so I think I'm gonna call this done all I have to do is just uh, pull this out and replace the fan that that's easy uh, so I think I'm all set with this part of the project alright guys thanks for watching see you next time